Good morning, everyone. We are going to go catch some sand fleas today because we got some big boys coming in to go fishing at the inlet. So let's grab that rake and bucket and head down to the sand. Hey guys, today we're going to go get some sand fleas. I'm going to show you how we're going to catch it on the beach, how we store it. We're going fishing at the inlet tonight, so I'm going to show you how we store it and save it so it doesn't you know, it doesn't die or, or stay safe in the garage. So first you gotta get a rake. That's a sand flea rake. I've got a bucket. If you notice, my bucket has lots of holes. So usually when we're looking along the beach, so there is some right here. So usually you don't want to disturb the nest because they will go away or go down and you would not get them for at least five to ten minutes. See a big school under the under the here, look right here. So I'm gonna dig with the same set and show you right here. I saw them about ten seconds ago. See? So they're burying between the sand, you can't see them just like that. See, that's what it is. Do you see the ripples in the water right here? There's a difference in the sand. So they're all running right here. Let's dig it up and see. You guys see them? Look, I can see tons of them right here. I'm gonna go under the pier, because that's where usually where we get a lot of sand fleas. Yep, I can see a big school right there. <laughs> so look at the school right here. There and there. So that's what you're looking for. Check it out. Usually you want to time the wave when it's coming in and out. So right there. <coughs> See? Look at how many. I see some right here. Right here, right here. <coughs> Look at how many is running there. Brake is empty. Look at how many. That's how we usually catch our sand flea. We'll go up and down the beach. Most guys don't like to walk the beach. They'll just stay at one place and get them. But I like to go get different sets from different nests. See right here, it's got a whole set. So let's just dig with the same rig. <coughs> See some big ones in there? Look at how many is in here. Good, good. Here, take this set here. Thanks, man. Thanks, thanks. All right. Appreciate it. 
No problem. And it's good. It's good bait for fishing. Appreciate that. You get, you. Some, you get some pumping on the beach. No, no, no. You're crazy, man. Sure? I got a bucket full. Of, Thank I, you. I, I got a YouTube channel, so I do the catch and cook, and I do, you know, how to catch a sand flea. Yeah. We do a lot of fishing from the pier. So What's your channel? It's I'll called. It's called Hook and Cook. Hook and Cook. With Vlad. My first name is Vlad. Yep. And you'll I won't see it. Forget it. You'll see it. It's all the pier fishing. I follow all the pier pages. Yeah, so, so we usually have the fishing legends here too yeah, and stuff. Yeah. We're in the same group. I follow, okay. Yeah. Cool. Let's look at it, man. Plan. Yeah. Thank you, buddy. I'm, thank putting, you. I'm putting this video on YouTube maybe next week. Alright, thank you. Alright, guys. Guys, this is what we caught. So I usually keep some shells with them too to keep them nice and cool. If we're gonna go home, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna keep this in the garage. So here are my sand fleas. We just got home. We're going fishing tonight. So for them to stay fresh, I got an old cooler that we usually just this is just for sand fleas. I got some ice from a frozen bottle. I'm just gonna put it on the side, uncover it, and leave it. I'll just show you real quickly. This was some old bait we got from a few days ago. So I have the same system in a, in a different cooler. So this was last night I put this down here. So if you look, I think, yep, we got fiddler crabs at the bottom there too, look. So I do the same thing for the fiddler crabs. And these were the old sand fleas. Look at them, still alive. So this was the old set in my old cooler. Just went and got some fresh ones. So just want to show you how how you can store your bait and use it a few days after. This has been in the garage for two days now. And look at that. My sand fleas are really really good still. Hey, hope you found this video very interesting. How to catch, store, save the sand fleas. And in the next video, we're going to show you how we're going to use them as bait to catch some sheepshead, redfish, black drum. Pump no whiting, whatever's biting tomorrow, we're going to the end of later this evening and then tomorrow we're gonna to use the same bait again. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. This is usually what the sand flea catches. Lots of sheep's head, redfish, black drum, pompano. Alright guys, gotta go. Heading out fishing. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.